You wanna make some food? Album? It's yeah, really, really good. My favorite. Uh, it's the it's their best album, in my opinion. It is their best album. What? What I just did? What? What? I don't even know what you're saying. You don't even speak. You just. This is you. What? What is it? Here's my ET recipe. Oh, First, acquire extraterrestrial life. Okay. Simple. Second, okay, bro. apply seasoning onto the skinned okay. corpse to VT Megalal. Okay. Then cook at a low burn, rotiserated. <laughs> okay. Then consume Megalal. No. He's too innocent. Bro, that sounds flavorless as fuck, though. No one's eating that. You gotta put on, like, some steak sauce or something. Dip it in some fucking, uh... What's the sauce we have in the fridge? What's the, the brand? Diana's. You gotta dip that motherfucker in, Di in Diana's sauce. Yeah, your, your ET doesn't taste very good, I promise you. What'd you say, though? What were you saying? But what? Yeah, me and Ivana just celebrated our third year together. Three years of abuse? Torture? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Come back. I'm kidding. For now. She's mad. <laughs> no, three years of amazing times. Ivana, I know you're standing up listening next to the door because I can see your shadow. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it was fun. We went to the zoo. The zoo was cute. The monkeys... I communicated with the monkeys at the zoo. I also communicated with the fish. They loved me. The fish, they beg for the bus. Yeah, the zoo is kind of sad, though. In a way, I mean, the people who work there love the animals. There's no way they don't. But at the same time, it's like they're just... The, the worst exhibit I had seen at the zoo was the giraffes. I felt so bad for the giraffes. I walk in there, and it's a small enclosure. It's an in, indoors building. It's an indoors building. And there's three giraffes in a very tight space. And they were so fucking clueless and bored as to what to do with their lives... That they were walking in circles. It, they, it, it almost work. felt like a yeah, like they were in a prison. Broken Star, thank you. Like, it's because they recently had a baby, and they wanted to show people the mother, the father, and the baby. Do giraffes fuck? I think they fuck. So that must have been the whole family of them. That's what I'm assuming it happened, or wh why they were in that enclosure. So the baby giraffe was there. It was cute. But giraffes are kind of weird. Giraffes are literally elongated horses. It's like you, you put a horse in like a, a program and you just stretch its limbs and it looks like a giraffe. They're very bizarre creatures. In okay, way, I'm hoping Tobias, I don't get jungle gapped again. You are in a zoo. The internet zoo. Everyone in chat logs onto their computer with their crusty keyboards to watch and be entertained at the smelly pirate exhibit. You are in the internet prison, Tobias. Tobias Exactly. Zoom. It's only pain. Oh, pain. It's only pain. You know, on a distant planet, humans are in zoos, and we're being watched by ETs. I wouldn't be surprised. They got the clone of me, like, like kind of like a hippo. Naked, fat, crawling around in mud, bathing in poo water. It's true. On some distant planet, we're all in the zoo.
Dude, I realized that all animals are just naked. Imagine that. Imagine being so based that you walk around without clothes on in front of spectators 24-7. Dude, animals are actually based as fuck. It's true. This matchup is really bad. Holly is b a bad matchup. Vex is a bad matchup. Better just play TF and then gank lanes, because you're really never going to win lane against these things. And if you do, they're just kind of janky. Not too good. Wow, that seems balanced. The goal of this lane, the goal of any lane that has a Doran's Ring user is to waste the pots. I've been saying that forever now. If they run Doran's Ring, you have to poke them out so that they lose these pots. That's the goal. If she uses one of them, we've succeeded at least in, in 50G. Use it, bitch. Come on. He used it good. You have to make these people waste their gold on... on HP. Especially if the matchup's bad, because it's kind of like the only way to really build small leads. Of any kind. I've got Sheen. Okay, maybe try and actually solo kill this thing. I think I want to go B yet. I lost cannon. Wow. I got it to lose cannon, and I got it to waste the pot. That's actually pretty good. Really not bad. Ugh. Whatever. So now she's going to be spending more money on HP, I would assume. Or she's going to sit on one pot and fight me. She's sitting on one pot. She's going to fight me with that. Okay. Uh, uh. It is not very fun. EXP, EXP. Maybe she took another back. I don't know if it's worth trying to fight this thing. Because of Diana. That was uh, a little bit of a slow reaction, no? Oops. Can I can maybe kill this thing? Maybe. 
too concerned with what the fuck's happening bot lane. I get double bounty off bot, or I can try and get a solo on mid. I'm getting ganked. Someone's here. Build. Must be through top side. Vex is so fucking cancer, bro. Champ is so cringe. If I kill Vex, this player is absolute dog shit. There is no reason a Vex should ever lose the GP. That is impossible. If the Vex player is at all decent. Fucking dog shit kick the fuck out of here. You poo poo, you are poo poo. Shit balls. Uh, ah, whatever. I'm gonna say it flashed. It's kind of a big dash, eh? Maybe I should have went up here. Vex is more balanced, but more obnoxious, I would say. She's like Xerath, but ten times cancer. Like, uh, ten times worse to fight than Xerath. For sure. My jungle's actually not gapped. That's really, really good. Jungle's actually playing pretty well. Oh, Diana's right here. Oh, it's not even Diana, it's Pike. Fuck, Olaf's here, Pike's here. Diana might be here. Dear God. Good gank, though. To be fair, the guy did get three man, but that was worth because he flashed. Shit. I mean, I've got essence if I saw the ward, but ugh. Well. Hang on. Havana, you can't put. Much. It's too much heat. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna go down here. If the blast cone's here, I think I eat their ass. Nope.
Good, good. Wait, I like how I sold the ward. Yeah, you're right. I sold the ward to buy essence, but then I left and had the money because I was sitting around for so long that I rebought the ward. That's kind of funny. Shopkeeper diff. Botlane got fucking hammered. What the fuck? They got destroyed. They didn't even get to play the game. All right. I think after this game, I want to take a break because I have to do a bit of cleaning. I also feel like absolute dog shit, so it'd be a good time to uh, maybe get food. We'll see. Are we, we're actually winning. We're winning. Yeah, this looks like a team gap. Well, I don't want to speak too uh, soon, but you know. I didn't want to speak it too soon. The sight of E.T. on a spit made him hungry. No shit it did. It's meat. I love meat. Dude, meat is the best food ever. Meat is the absolute most delicious food. Senior, thank you, bro. Your mother does. Your father. Your friends. Your family. I'm only the streamer, bro. I'm only the streamer. Yeah, meats. Press 1 if you love eating meat. Mm-hmm, it's true. Press 1 if you love eating meat. Meat is so good. Oh my god. I could never be vegan. Being a vegan, I would die. Impossible. Dude, grilled meat is so delicious. Oh, I don't know about that, man. It's gonna take a bit of time. COVID set it back a couple of centuries. You know what I mean? Oops. This'll do for now. Sorry if this was asked before, but I was always curious what made you love pirate themed characters. Kek. Not good, not good. Muppets, Everyone Treasure Island, Pirates of the Caribbean, all that bunnies. stuff. Happy Pride Month, Gachi PLS. Oh, bro, meat's good. Dude, when you can barbecue meat, you're fucking blessed. So delicious. Jesus, I fail flashed, Keck. Alright, get me out of this game at 7 to 16 and I'm lost. I'm more of a, a lost soul than that poor fucking grilled eat. That poor family moved on, uh... Not family, but that figure. That poor figure moved on from this world long ago. Chicken is good. Regardless, if it's meat and it's grilled, it's good. What's the, um... What's the thing here? Predicted blue. What's the fucking bet? Someone tell me the bet so I can rig it. Jean. 
Did you go to any restaurants in Montreal? Uh, we used to. Haven't in a while. Oh, look, yo. I gotta ask you. How's the NFT stuff going? I heard the NFT market wasn't doing You've too well. To How do. you doing? Loan, thank you. It took a fat hit recently? Yeah, I saw, brother. I was up so much. Look, you should have sold the monkeys and moved on. You should have sold them monkeys. Okay, we have a chance at losing this game because I'm not really paying attention at all. Let's uh, focus up a little bit, win the game, and then um, peace for a bit. <sighs> Malmortius, this... Nah, nah, you don't need that, no. You can avoid Vex. You can't really avoid Diana, though. Well, avoiding Diana is more of, like, positional. You can absolutely do it. It's just you gotta be kind of hidden. This game is just build full damage and insta-kill everyone. There's no point in going Maw. The boys, no. Me and my girlfriend watched a little bit, but then she kind of got, like, uninterested when we saw the guy dive into a fucking woman's vagina. I was like, alrighty. Wherever this is going, I mean, I'm, I'll watch it. But she didn't like that part. She didn't want to continue. <laughs> it was when they were in the, um... It's very early in, in the first season. It was, uh, they go to, like, the back rooms of some sort of, like, club, where there's a bunch of, uh, I guess you could say, X-Men, mutants, whatever they are, and, um, it's like, uh, like a club, and there's this guy who was basically Ant-Man, and he dove into a woman's fucking pussy, with, like, side view going on. <laughs> yeah. The guy totally, uh, what was it? It's like, you know when you dive into the water? If you ever go swimming? Kind of the same motion, yeah. I mean, that show is supposed to be really fucking good. And I'm down to watch anything. I don't give a shit. Nothing offends me, nothing triggers me, nothing matters, dude. It's just, it's entertainment. I'll watch whatever. You've I don't care. Do. Get on it. What that fuck, Kek? What that fuck? Well, if you call Alawi boring, you don't deserve the air that we both breathe. Alawi is Big Mama. Any any sort of hatred towards Alawi results in death. That's different. That's not even being triggered. That's just like a way of life. You feel me? Everyone would rise to the occasion to protect Alawi. That's the truth. Don't diss Big Mama. That bitch is Sidious. Okay, I like how the Eve completely fucked that whole play and she still lived.
Uh, you know what thing I want to watch, though, actually, is, um... I've seen a few seasons of Stranger Things, and I know the new season just got released, and I haven't seen it yet. And for me, you know, sitting down and watching something, that's fine, but usually it's when I'm doing Warhammer, I just kind of listen to it in the background. So... Probably going to give the new season of Stranger Things uh, a watch. Barry on HBO. No, I've got, um, so I know this sounds terrible, but I, okay. I'm subscribed to three things that are considered quite heinous. Take a guess as to the three things I'm subscribed to. Three services that I'm subbed to. Oh, someone got one of them. Someone got another one of them. Yeah, okay. I see three people with brains. I'm subscribed to Netflix, Disney Plus, and Warhammer Plus. But I have my reasonings. I have reasonings behind all of them. I subscribe to Netflix to see Love, Death, and Robots 3, which was okay. I subscribed to Disney Plus to watch The Mandalorian, which now that The Mandalorian's over, and that shitty Boba Fett fucking hobo story's over. Oh, they got they got Obi-Wan though, right? Oh my god. Pet the kill! Give me the goods. Hey bitch. Wow. Dude, this is what happens. I, I had stopwatch, but I didn't see it. It was too late. I saw this. What the fuck? Boba Fett was nice. Boba Fett was okay. The only thing that I'm subscribed to that I think is not worth the money, like... I subscribed to Netflix, correct? And there's three tiers of subscribing to Netflix. There's like tier one, which is $8 or something. Brian, thank you. There's there's three tiers. The first tier is like, um, I think it's like eight or nine bucks. And the videos come in at like 720p uh, with ads, I think, or some dog shit, some horrible service. Uh, tier 2 is, I think, 15, and then Tier 4 is 20. Um, but honestly, the, the content on Netflix seems pretty decent. I don't think it was really a matter of, like, you know, lack of content, I suppose, but more of price hikes and then ads and shit. For a while, Netflix was terrible. For Canadians, it was. It was bad. Uh, but it did get a bit better. I'm going to be late to the party. But the party's already over. Only 720p? Yeah, you don't even get 1080p for tier 1. Like, what's the point, bro? Um, But I will say this. Warhammer Plus, in its current state, is not worth money. I don't think it's worth any money. Warhammer Plus is shaping up to be really good, given maybe a year more. In about a year's time, I suspect Warhammer Plus is going to be phenomenal, but it just needs more content. And it's not that the content is bad that they have, it's just lacking.
Warhammer Plus is a subscription service to their, um, well, it, sorry. Warhammer Plus is basically, um, uh, animations, uh, lore videos, painting classes. It's stuff brought to you by Games Workshop. Um, and content creators, because, you know, they were able to buy out some people to be on the platform. It's like, it, it's Warhammer content. It's Warhammer content. Bolter Show is genuinely awful? I don't think it is. I think, um, what, the Hammer and Bolter Show? I thought the Hammer and Bolter Show was actually pretty decent. Uh, the Guardsman video was really good. Some of them were good. Um... They're, right now, they're doing uh, Inquisitor. Inquisitor is their thing. It's a show. Um, I think Inquisitor is actually pretty good. But uh, it's also a matter of like... No, it's not It's not even the animation. Well, look, the animations might be lazy. He's dead. They might be lazy, but... It's the story. The story is... It, be it, they're, they're not very in-depth, but... You know, I thought it was pretty alright. They're just little blurbs in the 40k universe. None of the shit matters. It's just a, a point in time that they want to show you. I mean, you're gonna... Okay, let me ask you this. You're gonna say the animation shit, but have you even seen every episode of Hammer and Bolter? Have you seen the Nurgle episode? Because the Nurgle episode is by far their best. And the animation's anything but shitty. Plague Song is really good. Obi-Wan any good? That's alright. I'll do another game, actually, where we focus, though. Well, the thing with the Stardies is that, yeah, they're all... Well, the animation is different from a Stardies. You can compare the two and say, objectively, one looks better, but they're not in the same style. It, they're completely different styles. They're not trying to go for realism. Like, no shit, a Stardies looks amazing, and it was created by one person, but that was more of a realistic take anyways. Whereas, um... Hammer and Bolter is just a bunch of, like, cartoons. Either way, I'm not sitting here completely defending Warhammer Plus. All I'm saying is it has the potential to be really good given more time. It's just lacking content. And the content it has isn't super top-notch.